a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Such a powerful woman. Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's your girl, or oh, I'm Ninja Majoru, aka Miss Pia Focal. Running back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I'm most definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. Now, my ninjas, obviously, you guys know it's Friday and Gogo Manzini is in the easy. Yeah, you guys have been asking, like they've mm. been asking. <coughs> Where is Gogo Manzini? Mm. I feel like I have to say welcome back and welcome myself back because we have not been, we've not posted a video in like two weeks. Yeah. Um, thank you for having me again, mm -hmm. uh, for welcoming me back. Sorry. I think it's, um, Mina, I was busy for the past few days, for the past few weeks. Weeks, yeah. I was busy preparing for the Devon trip. How did the Devon trip go? Yes, it went very well. Mm -hmm. And... You know, when you do preparations for such, mm -hmm. you stay away from certain things. Mm -hmm. There's rituals that you need to do to perform so that you're ready for the day. Yeah. So we couldn't shoot. It was because of me, not you. Um, please know and understand I'm a professional. Yes. So <laughs> there's things that I couldn't do. Remember, we have umuti that we need to prepare for such. Mm -hmm. We have to abstain from sex, me. So, so the, it was dry. No, it was okay. I'm used to that. I mean, when we when we do certain things, there's certain things that we need to stop doing. Mm -hmm. But I was okay with it. And then, yeah, I'm back now. Devon was awesome. Devon was powerful. Mm -hmm. Just that a few people were scared. Scared of what? The animal coming it's out, having to touch it. Uh, the beach at night is scary on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wow. very like... Whoosh. Yeah, yes. and but it was very beautiful, and I'm hoping. Uh, but I know that everybody that came to the beach uh, thingy, they were happy and very satisfied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I was away. And also, what do I need to say? Okay, I need to address certain things. Like people must be assured that when they booked for online consultations, mm -hmm. they will be consulted. Sometimes you don't get time or this it gets uh, too Busy. hectic yeah especially and now that i was busy with the trip mm -hmm. so we need people to be patient mm -hmm. Mina, that's how i work yeah even when you order herbs mm -hmm. know your herbs are coming mm -hmm. but then you don't want your things to to bafuna skitching bas means they want us to run around like headless chickens and you know me i'm not going to do that if you want to work with me, you're going to be patient and that's going to assist you mm -hmm. because you need to understand that you're not the only person that is ordering. There's quite a large number of things, but yeah, we will we, we, we be looking at helping people. Mm -hmm. We are going to be helping people. People are already happy mm -hmm. with all the things that they came for. So we are also happy. And again, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people on Johannesburg side mm -hmm. that always want to talk to us or to talk to me or to say things and things and things like that. So with the touring, we decided that we will visit a few spaces over the year. Mm -hmm. we'll visit, we don't know when, which one, when, but we just decided that we will try to reach out to people as much as possible because people want their thing to, to get help. Mm -hmm. So we have another schedule, which I didn't tell you about. 16 and 17, mm -hmm. we come into Johannesburg. Oh, okay. I, 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 on February, okay. the 15th of this month. Yeah. So it's going to be the 16th mm -hmm. and it's going to be the 17th. We're going to be somewhere in the river okay. in, in, in Johannesburg. But we're not going to disclose Way. to people that didn't yeah, book. That are not coming over. Exactly. So we want people to book. It's still going to be the same ritual as the Devon ritual, but the only difference is the sea. Okay. So that we're going to be using water. So some people couldn't get there. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I get a lot of requests. So I'm not really a person that travels. But for people, because remember, 
for me, this is a calling. It's something that I need to do because there's people out there that are waiting to be healed by me. Mm -hmm. And I'm healing a lot of people. So 16 and 17, we are going to be coming to Johannesburg. It's going to be in a suburb place, obviously. I don't go to Sentin. something like that. <laughs> it's going to be here. So also, again, shame. I'm sorry to use this platform. Mm -hmm. to do, But also, again, 16 and 17, Johannesburg, it's the ritual. 16 is for normal, mm -hmm. like those ones that have got... Is it keto, is it yama? People that want to do just normal cleansing, cleansing yeah. to get their things going okay, problems in the family, this and this and that. That is going to be on the 16th. Okay. And then on the 17th, it is strictly for business, business. people. Business, okay. Yeah. So it's basically the same that happened in Durban. It's just that now it's going to be in Joburg. Yes, it's going to okay. be in Joburg and we're not going to be using the sea, okay. but we're going to be using a river. Okay. So for people that couldn't get to... Then they'll be able to come here. I even uh, laughed. There's someone that asked me, like, in my uh, Instagram, uh, the DMs, uh, the person was like, oh, Ami, are you not shooting? Did you go with Gogo Manzini to the <laughs> river? I'm like, no, I'm not the lawyer ring gang. <laughs> and when <laughs> other people asked me, where well, is there was, there was a wami. And I was like, are you guys expecting Owami here? <laughs> and he's like, yes, we are expecting Owami. I'm like, no. Me, that ran like that she with a snake. Come. <laughs> and I told them that Owami would not be in the spaces. Mm. Owami is just doing this to share it your education. It is raising your education. awareness, yes. It is educational. Exactly. These are things that are already happening. If we have someone that is like, hey, I'm going to come and talk about it. That is yes. great, you understand? I yes. actually absolutely love and it. And also... With me teaching them, I need to tell them where I'll be or what I have. I mean, that's normal. It goes with, yeah, with that. Course. But then the main, main, main thing is for them to know. So, again, I'm still excited. Mm -hmm. I wanted to rest, but it was my to not rest, to not rest. Mm -hmm. 16 and 17, we are in Devon, in, in Johannesburg, yeah. cleansing people. That's it also. That's also one thing that I wanted to us to touch on one the first people. few minutes of yeah. the... Okay, well, mm. that is great. I mean, I'm happy to hear that it went well. The animal came out. Mm. I would have ran for my life. Yeah, people were there. People were there. It's power, Owami. You know what happens. Mm -hmm. You can find there's a lot of traditional healers. Billions and millions and billions. But the work that we put in is not the same. Yeah. Or the strategies that we use to work is not the same. So power does not lie in you talking. But power lies in you acting. And power lies in you doing what you do. So as I always tell you that I'm a great A in Takati. <laughs> I'm a great A, that one I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Because now I go to those places that are scary. Mm -hmm. You know why? I'm upgrading my calling so that I can be able to assist people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so that is it, 16 and 17. But more... Information will also be shared on my YouTube channel, yeah. which Dr. is Dr. Gogo Go Manzini, Manzini TV. TV. So Johannesburg people, if you are around Johannesburg and you are not doing anything on the 16th and 17th, book with me and then we, we will see you there. I'll make sure that her banner is here because I know people will be asking, where are the details? Mm -mm. The banner is right mm -hmm. there. So the numbers are there. Hey, um, Instagram and the YouTube channel is um dr gogo manzini tv um yes. and then you can basically go and get her mm. but anyway today ne, a start lawyering you no but you said it's a cleansing yeah the yeah. cleanse is not them lawyering it's I lawyering guess. i always told you must that using omuti using herbs or it's anything lawyering. to to turn into a certain situation is lawyering i even made an example with you that taking tablets from the pharmacy when you've got a headache you are lawyering the headache so if you come on the 16th and the 17th, you're going to be lawyering because now you're going to be using herbs and getting cleansed for a certain situation to go away. So you are what? Lawyering the, the situation. Mm. If you are going to be coming for your love portion because your man is giving you a problem or your woman is giving you a problem, mm -hmm. you are lawyering that person or you are lawyering yourself so that that person can now love you more. So when we're doing money rituals, mm -hmm. there is power there also. That is lawyering. You are lawyering the business. So that it can start performing better. So cleansing is lawyering. To me, it's lawyering, okay. my friend. Yeah. We can always try to say, um, let's put it in this way. This one is not lawyering. That is what it's just white and black, as I also told you. There's white rituals and there's black rituals. 
So it depends which way. Now which one do you want to take? And I mean, I still stand on what I said. Take a, a pill. For me, it's not lawyering. Because you're, you're not... Uh, uh, that one is for you, for my headache. You are lawyer if, headache. If it was a matter of I'm taking the pill for headache and it cures yours, I would say yes, that's magic. Like last week I saw one of your videos, you were talking about something to hydrate yourself. Yes. You are lawyering the body so that the <laughs> body can get hydrated. So it's lawyering. Amanga, amanga, amanga <laughs> lies. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, but anyway, ninjas, today's topic, I am so interested in this. Um, because I'm just like, you know, we always hear this stuff being spoken of, and I think that this is something that literally like is happening. And I think this year, especially, like I'm just like, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna talk about things that may be a bit uncomfortable. Which okay, why am I saying I'm gonna go there? Because I live there. <laughs> uncomfortable situations and conversations, but what I basically just want us to talk about today is the spiritual aspect of sleeping around and also sleeping with someone that sleeps around, you know? So now what I... Uh, 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 last time when we were talking about Isitreto, you you did touch a bit on, you know, also we, you can actually have Isitreto by, you know, um, maybe having uncleansed abortions, um, by, um, you know, sleeping with someone that has a street toe, you can get that and everything. And I was just so interested, like, can you please tell us, like, how serious is sex spiritually? Sex is very serious. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can say sex is very spiritual mm -hmm. because the people that you interact with sexually, mm -hmm. they've got a very big impact in your life. And people don't know that. We just think that sex is five minutes it's very pressurable. We cannot live without sex. We cannot, so, but we can. Because there's people that don't mm -hmm. have sex for a long time, but they're still surviving. Mm -hmm. So sex is not something to be played with. Mm -hmm. As much as you want to enjoy that moment for that particular time. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of spiritual soul ties that goes with sex. It's not just a moment of bumping on top of each other. You know, there's a lot because now we share some things spiritually through connection in bed. Mm -hmm. So the person, I'm going to start with the person that sleeps with one person. Mm -hmm. The person that you are sleeping with, they've got their own spirits, they've got their own agendas, they've got their own energies that are in them, within them. So when you now connect with that person or you niathangana sexually mm -hmm. there is high chances and it's already there there are many possibilities that you guys are exchanging energies there is something that you are exchanging within the fluid that is coming out during whatever intercourse that is happening so if i am having sex with a person who's got bad luck bad omens and things like that, chances are he is always sharing that with me. Chances are he is always sharing that with me. So Nami, in my own side, that is going to block a certain things from the progress of my life. So you are not cheating and your partner is cheating. And she, he is sleeping around with all these women that has got easy criticism. Yamas Abosama broke. They're not progressing because their things have been closed. Their life is just stagnant. Doing nothing is going on. So she he goes around collecting those spiritual ties, spiritual exchanges from all these people. And now when she comes to you, you know almost what goes on in him. Now there's a lot of energies that are the bad I'm talking about. And then now she, he or she sends them to you. And then that also can be a secret to your own life because your things can just stop. Right? And then if you now are sleeping with a number of people, you need to understand that that number of people, maybe they are not sleeping with you only. Of course. It's intersections. Yes. Good. So we we share. So sleeping around or sleeping with different people can give danger to your life. It will give danger to your life because now you are collecting all this bad in memoria from people. 
you don't know what is their family issues from when they were born. Ukula yeah. nayo learned he grows with it. And then it's a problem to you because now your life will stop. Sometimes you will hear others would say, Ish, Yazi, the time I was dating X, my things were just stuck. But now I'm broken up with X. And you know, I'm getting work, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. It is things are just opening up for me. You know why? I'm a party of that person. You share them, must you share something very. You, you get intimate, yes. so they have an impact of blocking your things. That is why we use love portions, so that we know, Ugutu, when I'm with you, you don't sleep with anybody, and I don't sleep with anybody, and then it's us. Also, there's a good side of it. Because they like mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. so they will share that luck with you. But So it's not only bad things, that, that you shared. get okay but in most instances it's the black things that you 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 you, you take, you take uh, or they take your luck <gasps> or you can take your luck and then now use your luck to to be successful some they know what they are doing they, some they don't know you know you are a lucky person and then they can take your luck and things like that so when with sex so now um the thing that I, 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 I obviously want to know is that when having sex, if I use a condom, does it minimize the impact? No. Show me. It doesn't. You kiss. You sweat on each other. There's a lot of things as if when you people need to understand sex. Now you get into another world. When you are there, you know that you don't feel the same that you feel when you are not there. Mm. So you get into so there's a lot of spiritual exchanges that are happening during that heated moment. Mm. <laughs> Remember, condom protects you from getting pregnant and diseases. But then do we have a spiritual condom? No. There is no spiritual condom until you protect yourself. That can be your spiritual condom. When you go to a traditional healer for protection. Or pray. You can pray, guys. You can yes, also pray. yeah, you can pray, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you can pray, I'm sure. <laughs> so you need Ugupina and be well protected. Okay. So that when we do, I'm going to take you a little bit back. Mm -hmm. When we do your money rituals, the mm -hmm. ones that want you to sleep around. Yeah. Then Ugupina Siwe. Your body is made Immune. so exactly so that you are going to go and collect just the luck and from not get those any people. No, from anyone exactly. that has exactly. So we perform that. So Utolguti, as I said, Umuntu Ulala, he sleeps with young people, and then they just want to collect whatever they're collecting. They're not doing the, the sex with you because they love you. Mm. No, they're working on getting what they want to get. So um, now, like, okay, let's say that you are you are someone that is married to someone that sleeps around, right? Jew is married to a my chid zoshbubu, and you even know it. I promise you that. <laughs> so, um, let's say you are someone that does not sleep around, but your husband sleeps around. Mm. Because that's mostly the case in most situations. Mm. Um, uh, let's say he goes out there, he collects. Like, you know, bad luck. Obviously, when he's sleeping with whoever he's sleeping with, he will sleep with, um, you know, maybe this person has uh, good luck, this one has bad luck, this one has this, has that. And this person, obviously, maybe they don't even pray. Obviously, even if you pray, if you're sleeping around, you still catch it, Shem, because Christian will, there are rules and laws you're supposed to do. Mm, and if you're mm. breaking, then I, Shem, you go on your own, right? Mm. So now, what I want to find out is that um, this this person that is your husband that goes out there and is sleeping around collecting all that, and then let's say when uh, maybe you are I, not doing anything, you are not doing anything. Yeah. Is there a difference between someone that is not doing anything and someone that is actually also cheating her own? What difference? Like, what do you mean? I don't understand that. Like, in terms of um, how can I say this, man? Angiri, let's say your husband goes out there and he carries right and yeah, brings and to the house and he you. comes and shares with yes. you. 
And he has good luck, bad luck, everything, because mm. he's sleeping with different people. Mm. So now we have two women. The other one also goes out there and hobbles her own. She mm. also gets her own. She's getting her. Yeah, they, she's they collecting they her own. To, good changer. luck, bad luck, whatever. Uh, yes. And then now the there's husband. also another one that does not do anything. If you don't do anything, you are going to get but still because your husband is bringing it home. So a woman that stays with a cheating husband, she might as well not be a joy. Exactly. It's the same spiritual If day. If ever we are joy like Ubaba, if mm. Ubaba is doing something mm. and then the woman is not doing something, mm. you're still going to carry all those spiritual Baggages what, 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 from his. all those people. Yes, you do carry them because he goes out to bring it home. So whether you are cheating or you're not cheating, you are, if you are both cheating, it changes, changes, changes. Mm -hmm. But... People need to be aware of who they sleep with. Sharing anything with somebody. Hmm. DNA exchanges. Because sometimes you'd say, we just had a kiss. Mm. That's DNA. You can collect spiritual kisses and ties by kissing. No, I, I'm not saying, but you are ch exchanging. Yeah. Yes. It's the only thing that I'm sure about is sex now. The intercourse. But... I, as a person, I know that I should not interact with people's DNA. That is how much I love myself. Mm -hmm. I need to be sure with who I spend my time with mm -hmm. because energies exchanges. exchanges. So I, I just prefer to be alone. That's it. Okay, but now I have a question, Gogo. Yes. Let's say you didn't sleep with this person, but you guys had oral sex. Can you still exchange? Exactly, because I can show you are uh, that heated moment is there. When you guys are having oral sex, most you are on another world. So I'm going back to the answer, the very same answer that I gave you, that that word, no, expose, that moment when you are doing that. So you need to ask your mom, would you please, Nick, tell that shit. <laughs> even when you tell, even when you ask, they're still cheating, these people must. Yeah, they're still cheating, but sex is very dangerous. Yeah. It's not as nice as uh, spiritually. Maybe in the Christian world, it's okay. I don't know. No, it's not. Yeah. A thousand percent not. Like, when I tell you guys how God hates cheating, this is really a, a complicated one. Because I feel like right now, um, it's no secret the fact that online right now, as I'm talking, there's like two groups, right? There are women that stand for cheating and there are women that do not stand for cheating. Mm. Um, and then obviously it's almost like it's a it's a debate, right? Because obviously if you don't stand for cheating, you're a divorcee because mm. you divorce. I don't stand for cheating. That's why I'm a divorced woman because I divorce him for cheating, which someone that um, stands for divorce will still be, I mean, stands for... Cheating. For cheating, because it's not really even to say I stand for marriage. You know what? They would then just when you are still there, when someone would come to you and tell you, would he, uh, I don't care if he cheats as long as he comes to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people that are like that. Like, oh, no one can take me out of my marriage. I'm gonna stay even I'm gonna if he stay. goes and collects. Even if he goes and things. collects and bring here. Yeah, and that, what's that? What is that? Then you don't love yourself. Because it starts with you loving yourself, exposing your certain body parts to certain people. It starts, it means you do not actually respect yourself. You do not actually love yourself as you are. Because now if you love yourself, that is a private part for a reason. There's a reason why it is called a private part. So remember, clothes were designed so that we can cover mm. those parts. Those parts are very spiritual. So if you feel that it's okay for you to go around showing every girl or showing every man that you come across, then you need to know and think, Woody, actually, even if someone is watching and you know that you're sleeping with many men, just look at yourself in the mirror and say, I don't love myself. I don't pr protect myself. Because if you love yourself, you would know, Woody, sex is very spiritual. And the consequences of going consequences of going around sleeping with different men or different women, you know them now. Then you need to know which when you do it again, then you don't love yourself. I'm gonna make an example. Mm -hmm. Sex workers. Mm -hmm. Those sex workers, they got traditional healers that protect them from isn't to mm -hmm. And then now you look at the sex workers that don't even attend traditional healers. Those girls, they just end up in Hillbro in that flat, or that Johannesburg, in that, there is nothing that they get out of that work because they are not spiritually protected and they sleep with all these women. 
all these men, I mean, dirty or not, clean Look. or not, working or not, young kid. As he, he was able to maybe run and or pick and up get that 50, 50 rand. And then when you want to now take your life, we again go in because you want money. Prostitution is right, according to me. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I work with them. Mm -hmm. But I always tell them that protect yourself. Why? Because I know that they sleep around. All the time, even now, some one girl, maybe some way started working at or six. She had seven clients already. But they would they are always drunk, some of them, they're always on drugs. They are they, but they don't know what they're doing. Take that back to yourself. The spiritual soul ties. I am a stopper. You go to progress in Pilaniako. You don't get a job because you slept with the wrong person, mm. and you didn't go cleanse yourself for that. So now, what I also just want to find out is when it comes to um, what I found out is that a lot of women who stay with cheating husbands they struggle with depression. Yes. That's something that is very common, right? They yes. struggle with depression even. Uh, now, actually, I had to fight it. I was like, I'm not going through depression for this nigger. I didn't, and I'm thankful for that. But I was literally on the verge. However, I have struggled with a depression before. So he, 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 he was not like the one that caused it. But I almost went there. Mm. But what I've seen is that if you go right now to uh, a mental health hospital and you go there and you listen to the stories these women are saying, 99% of them, they're there because of a man. What I want to find out is that, do you think uh, depression is spiritual? Yes. Do you think that your husband going out there and sleeping around can actually give you depression? And you finding out, obviously, it hurts, but because of all these spiritual soul ties mm. that you get, it now leads you into depression because now that depression is a spiritual thing. Yes, depression is spiritual, my friend. Like all depressions? Exactly. Okay. You, you know when you're not yourself when you're depressed mm. that, that's what makes it spiritual okay. you, your performance in anything mm -hmm. even when your mother-in-law or whoever stresses you you mm -hmm. get depression was yeah. initial because now you love that guy and you love that family yeah. but you can't so it, depression is spiritual okay. so that is why I'm saying at the, I said at the beginning sex is very spiritual sex is very dangerous sex is very powerful you need to be careful of who you share your private parts with. Okay. So, let's say you are doing oral. He doesn't see my private parts, but I see his. Is it still the same thing? Yeah, Choni. You, you must just... Those things Stay are spiritual. Away. Stay you away. must just... So when you're married... Ah, uh, no, even if I'm married, Choni. That's why I would always tell my husband, do not cheat. Mina, I'm, 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 Mina Pella, I cleanse myself now and then. Mm -hmm. So I'm not an easy target to those things. Okay. Mina, I protected myself. Okay. So our clients are also protected from, from such things. Mm -hmm. Because we are caught with Vigela from those things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This so there's, for example, those social, those ties and what, 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 what. what. Mm -hmm. When we do those tours like Devon, mm. those people are clean. Okay. Even if they had, but by okay. Those people were protected. We cut in the river. Mm -hmm. I know for sure. They can tell you. Mm -hmm. I've got messages already. Mm -hmm. And then we're carrying it that now to Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing that ritual. Mm -hmm. 16, 17, we are going to be doing all those things. And Utoru Wutsi, now, let me touch this. Your babies, they get affected from Esiswiniska Mama, from the mother's stomach. Because this thing, Ohamba, was collector, the ties and what, 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 the thing and that then, you go to collect that in you, so now, yes. whatever child that stays in your womb, your womb that is child almost like is cursed there, as Exactly, well. that's her. The DNA of the papa or of the father is there. So you feed Umtuana, they stay inside you. So you find that when the child now grows up, they struggle with their lives because umama no baba, they were the problem when everything was beginning. So now, 
because you know this has has been a topic for co of conversation that um because i've been so vocal on guys like staying for cheating is just not it for me you know um and i would always advise to say listen i'm not saying like leave your marriages but i'm saying that if you want to leave let's create a safe space for women to be able to leave and because even men guys even don't, don't men. take men out because there's I know, women but the thing is men are the problem no most of the time. there's women out there that cheat a lot and you know the internet Yes, so but even uh, men, okay, okay. Let's talk on majority. Majority is men that cheat, right? I don't know. No, I know. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's why I'm saying women. I, obviously, it 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 doubles, right? Because even if I say women, I'm not saying men are excluded. Okay. It's just because majority rules. Mm. And besides, the viewership is like eighty nine percent women, I think, or ninety percent something. Okay. Like, yeah. So the, the the volume is high. But what um uh what was I wanting to say? You wanted to talk about that. Um, <laughs> <I don't remember. laughs> Wait, oh, okay, yes. Like, for the fact that I, 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 my thing has always been that, listen, guys, let's just create a safe environment where if a woman wants to leave, she can be able to. Because I felt when I had to leave my marriage, I was not given that option. It was like I had to be a rebellious person, literally packed my bags without some people in Venda even knowing only called when I was in Midrand, and I'm like, bro, I moved, I'm in Midrand, like, I'm out. You understand? Because even when you're talking, like, especially in black societies, they don't really understand. But now, the thing that's there is that there was a topic of, well, you don't have kids. I'm staying for my children. So the same children that you, you claim to be staying for can be the same children that you're cursing through staying. Mm. You already cursed them, most of you, Dala. From their... From yeah, their so they are cursed there. You're not cursing them now. Oh. You already done it. So you're staying for your kids or you're going for your kids. If you leave them, you will leave them. So that is why sometimes Abanyabantu, they will take their whole family for cleansing. Okay. Because I don't know now what's the problem is that. The spirits of those people that you're collecting, they're not the same. Mm -hmm. Some woman is crazy like Mondo and we cycle. You take that and then you transfer it to your kids. Utolo the kids are growing, then you would call me and say, Coco... Yes, I've got a problem. This one, Agalaleli. This child is not doing good at school. This child is now not getting a job, Umtanami, all along. Where is the problem starting? That is why you need to go consult. Sometimes you are the cause because you've been sleeping around. You know that other women, they will sleep with other men when they are pregnant. And do you know that the father can go around, go sleeping around and bring his into to their own kids? So we need to love our kids first. That is a start of a cheating man. I hate them as well. Mm -hmm. I hate chicken, uh, cheating men with a passion. Because now, Abantwana, when they come to the world now, they have umtwalawaku. They have your pattern. And then umtwana grows to be trouble. Umtwana goes to be something that you don't... Uze uze, when people would say... Lumjana is very amazing. I don't know why she's behaving like this. Or I don't, I don't like, know why he's behaving like this. Her but traits don't even resemble anyone in the family. Yes, because even my mom, is even my, my mother's family, they would say, it's not like no one acts like that dog, that, that baby. Gibo mm. Baba, on, on her or his father's side. No one works from, like, is performing or is acting like that child. Where is that child, mother? Why is he doing like this? And then sometimes he would say, some stupid families, they would say, hey, Lumtwana, that is not my son's child. Yes, because, because of their yeah. behavior. Lumtwana, see why I care. Yeah. Because we behave ganji, 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 ganji. Mm. Those women are stupid. You cannot say, Lumtwana, see when you were not there when they were having sex. So if you're going to come and say, that child is not from this family, then you must point to which family is it. Because now, you don't know what your child is behaving like this because your son kept sleeping around while the baby was in the womb. Or your child, your son, started doing his intestinal all along, and then now Zikuye, he's busy sharing them with the mother of the, 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 the child. And then when the child comes up now, they are going to behave like that... Psychopath Thank you. You, you don't even with... know the psychopath's name. You, 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 you would I'm say, a one night stay. Hey, I was just having sex, man. It was just one night. I was drunk. I was. You don't play there. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say. So when I say it is dangerous, I mean in a, in many, 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 many ways. So Tina, in our world, that is why we always believe in cleansing and protecting. Cleanse, protect, cleanse, protect. Because you sleeping around, but I now no muti or anything in the house. In our world, so you need to cleanse yourself once and then.
now and then. Because now, why are you suffering? It's because of sex. How long did that sex take? Five minutes. Your kids. You know, it was quick. It was a quickie in a club. You know, we had a quickie in a club. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> it destroyed you. You know, so people like pastors would preach sex before marriage is a sin. Don't do it. Stay away from it. Because they know what, what impact does sex have. I'm not going to bed, talk bad of pastors at times. Mm -hmm. They're preaching that to the kids. Would do not do sex before marriage because now they know what, what are you going to be collecting and all those things. So in their mind, they think that when you guys are now married, then you can have sex. Because now if you are a loyal person, when you are married, you're not going to go cheat. Yeah, you're so gonna that is why they say have sex after marriage. Because they think you're going to have sex with your wife only. Can't you know other people are stupid to do that. They would get married to you. Go sleep with somebody else. Come back and bring that to you. But they stand, they stood in front of a pastor and they said they love you. They will protect you. They will be with you through thick and thin. So what, what would you say to a, a woman out there right now that is very proud of the fact that her husband cheats and she's going to stay because she's for marriage? You are <laughs> disturbing your own progress. And your kids. You are disturbing your kids' progress. You can say, I'm working, I'm earning 50K. I'm okay. I don't care if you sleep. There's nothing bad with me. You Maybe you're supposed to earn 150K. Mm. Maybe you're not where you think you're supposed to be. Yeah. Where you are now. It's, it's, it's not where you're supposed to be. Like you, for an example, you're running a podcast, you're running this and that. Maybe God has that destiny which you are going to own a production company one day. Yeah. A big one yeah. that shoots soapies on TV and things yeah. like that. So when you are just... Boxing yourself. Which, you know, meaning, right, I'm doing good, I'm fine. Only to find what... If this man can go out of your life and you get proper cleanse or pray in a way, we are dead. But what your life goes. I was in a relationship before I got married, but my life was just fucked up. Mm. Nothing was adding up. You try, you do, you just. I was staying in a one room house. Okay, there's nothing wrong with staying in a, in a one room house. I'm just talking about I think, my like, journey. I think you mean what? A one room house or a one room? A one room room, a room. Yeah, so I was just saying in a room yeah. where you would do anything, you cook, you do everything here. In the room, yeah, a back room. Exactly. Mm. So when I then met, moved away from that kind of a relationship, and then my, I saw, I started to my life change. Mm. And then I got into Jews, Tungaba, and the calling was still there, but at the time, it was hard for me to accept it. I think that was the blockage also. Mm. So that why don't you go and do your and, and accept your calling and then better your life, things like that. So we need to understand the power of say, the impact that sex has in our lives. So I know that we've got people right now um, or someone out there maybe that is looking and watching uh, this episode and uh, maybe for whatever reason, they don't want to leave their partner, which, okay, you know, to each their own. Um, but then the partner cheats and furthermore, when they are pregnant, their partners cheat even more. Do you understand? Obviously bringing in those spiritual uh, uh, ties to the child um, actively at that time, mm, you know. Mm. What advice would you give a man that goes, that sleeps around, and especially when his wife is pregnant? Mm, what advice can I give them? Um, stop it. It's, mm. it's, it won't be an advice. Mm. Because now you are being selfish. Now you are putting your life, your daughter, or your, your, your child that is supposed about to, to be given birth to, and your, your, your wife as well. So if you don't care about your wife, it's fine. What about your child? That you go around taking things from and, 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 and things like that. Because now I would always say, when I have conversations with my husband, there would be, we can have arguments or fights about anything. Let it not be about cheating. Yeah. If you cheat, I go. Mm. That one we're not discussing it. it. That's one of the rule in our marriages. Mm. We don't sit and discuss that. We can sit and discuss certain things mm. because we know that I know the spiritual e um, effect that can have in me if I'm sitting and you're not doing anything. So that is why I always preach to women with loyal to you. But there are those that have given love potion. I know, but um, daughter is still cheating. Okay. Then that was not a love potion. It was not well done. 
the way they design is into mm. you explain which one is it there's one that will say give him a love portion he will love you but he will cheat mm. there's one that is designed for to to close in clo the yeah, yeah, it's closed and then sleep well at night knowing that things are just fine so sex is dangerous you need to know who you sleep with you need to know who you waste or your time with because abanyabantu they've got their cases from ebunqaneni babo way, way before they were born mm. they carry it up to now and then now those things you are giving them to umtwana wakho you, you get what i'm saying giving them to the child exactly your child is not getting a job you are also not getting a job you don't even know why he needs to be humble zenza all your life so that nice thing they call nice sex i don't see what's nice in sex you don't enjoy sex too. anyway we, i do we do hey but in she, I, I just want to understand which, why should people want to get into trouble when they have sex i think that is also that thing of when you, <laughs> you sleep around you develop a demon of lust because most sex is the same mm. let me tell you sex is the same Maybe, like, they just think, as I'm saying, like, I think there is also just that spiritual aspect of the moment you start sleeping around, you sleep with two people, three, then it's like a spirit takes over. That makes you want to taste a new girl that or a like, new guy all the time. That is like masturbation. Mm -hmm. It's very spiritual. Sometimes uh, masturbation you be, would be the next topic we talk about. Sometimes you would be masturbating yourself. That thing now is spiritual. It becomes a demon or things like that. So, you attract bad spirits from having sex mostly you attract from doing masturbation mostly you attract you attract bad animal spirits utholo ukuthi sekuba ngathi those spirits ayahamba manje they want a place and they know that you enjoy uh, doing masturbation and then you think i'm just masturbating because i need to release something and then it gets to a point where now it becomes danger to your life also that masturbation you are alone and only to find which when you are doing that thing i said it's spiritual when you releasing something you attracting now bad spirits to you so then it becomes an addition um, an addiction because now that spirit wants that sex so when you will be sitting there shaking yourself thinking that you are just doing it and releasing whatever can't so will verge or you are in the danger of saying i am now sleeping with an animal but i don't know I'm sleeping now with an animal spirit but I don't know. That is why you would say if you read or you hear they would say that masturbation is not good. Yeah. It is actually not good because it is very spiritual. But so, then what are we supposed to do gogo because now we can't have sex with men, we can't masturbate. And no, they say look at who you do it with. Don't not that don't do. But look at what you do it with. But how do you then know this person has you cases? Never because know. you can never know. No, those are things but you never like know. But like I'm saying, okay, fine. I can even say, okay, let me look at who I sleep with. I know this guy maybe for like four years Go or three years. With your pastor. <laughs> or your prophet. <laughs> <laughs> That's shit. Because pastors, prophets, <laughs> they prophet most. The problem is I'm going to use the same prophets they are using the same Yeah, they <laughs> prophesy. So they will tell you who this is the right person for me or what, 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 what. Hi, guys. It's really good tough, good rough. Like, honestly, but I definitely know for a fact that the next episode is going to be talking about um, the effects of watching porn and masturbation spiritually. Yeah, That's yeah, something yeah. that I definitely want us to talk about um, because definitely you you touched on to that and I feel that's something that yeah, is that very is also important. cheating. It's cheating. Eh? On who? On the, your partner. Ah, but if your partner can't... Now, if you are going to be sleeping with spirits, Epsu, or whenever that you are busy masturbating yourself, and now you're giving, a, you're giving that particular spirit in Dao, a place to stay in you. So, when you think that you feel like masturbating, and some people, Pella, would masturbate when, even if they are married. Yes. Even if they are married, they would masturbate, and not because your man does not give you sex. Or not because your woman does not give you sex. You can have sex, but that demon, your masturbation will still be there. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it, 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 it's... Why is it there? Do you think it's yourself? You just had sex in the morning with your husband or with your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. But once they go, you want to start mastur doing masturbation. Do, do you think that's okay? You don't get satisfied when? <laughs> the spirit also wants... It, 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 so you would be saying, ah, I'm going through porn... The spirit 
is now attracting you there so that you can get the activation, so that you can start doing whatever you do to yourself. By f then you are feeding it, it gets fed. So that addiction also is very spiritual. Try not to masturbate and try not to watch porn. Because now you are cheating on your partner with that spirit. And that spirit now, it blocks easy into Zako because I was good what kind of a spirit it is. It would want to attack you, it would want to attack you, I can masturbate. I wish I can masturbate. You know, other people do what? They leave you, where, they leave wherever they are, then they go to their cars, and then they masturbate. When they're done, they dress up, and then they go back to maybe even it's a party or something like that. Before. So that spirit does not want you to have sex with your wife or your partner, but it wants to have sex with you. And then when are you thinking you are doing masturbation? You can do this then. is definitely a topic for next week. And I don't want you to go too deep because it's too interesting. And I have so many questions. This part, the last part that we were talking about, we are definitely going to have to talk about it for the next week. But now you, as, 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 as Ugogo, um, what advice would you say, okay, this is the advice that I would give someone that is out there that constantly stays with a cheating husband or constantly stays with a cheating boyfriend, which again, I guess we say cheating, but we don't believe a boyfriend cheats. Mm. He's, he's doing his interviews. I guess. He's, you, he's not yours until he marries you. Yeah. So what advice would you give to like a woman that, that stays with a cheating husband or women that really is a matter of they don't know? It's just a matter of me not believe in marriage. Not my husband, my husband, even though he's a mother freaking cheater. What advice would you give to that person? Because at most times what you've seen is that you find that maybe a man that is very rich, that has money, he cheats a lot, he sleeps around, and next thing, <laughs> nothing. All the money is gone, dead, and everything. What advice would you give people that are in that situation, whether if it's the wife that cheats or the husband that if cheats? If someone cheats on you, leave. Mm. You can't be going in young all the time. <laughs> you can't, even now you get <laughs> you can't, tired. You can't cleanse every day. No. If your partner cheats, leave. Or lawyer him or her. Mulo, yes, so that you can now get into the mind and twist it because you love them. Just then they can stop cheating. Then things like that will happen. And then you will go get your cleansing. So that's why we say online consultations are. Show me, I'll tell you one thing. Consultations are very important about Imperial Moon. Consult with a priest, mm -hmm. a pastor, a prophetess, or a traditional healer. Mm -hmm. But you need to know what is going on in your life that is very important. So luckily, Tina, we do now, not only me, there's traditional that does online consultation when maybe you are far. But then now, that person needs to be a medium, a person that can just by looking at you and read you. Mm -hmm. Then you can do your online. If you say, I'm far, do your online consultation. Know what is going on in your life, then take a step. But if Umuntu you are good, you are cheating, and you don't want to do love portions, stay away. Because Bad spirits are there, whether you're a Christian or you're not. Whether you believe or you don't believe. is in those yama. Your life will just stand still because of the things that you have been doing. That is why we would also say to you, when we give you a love portion, that you also don't have to cheat. Because once you cheat, that person will kill you. Because now they love you in that way. So sex, masturbation, all those things, gee, they're not right. Who are you interacting with when you are doing masturbation? You said we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about you can't be there week. screaming on yourself, rolling your eyes on yourself, alone in the bar. Say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you screaming to? You are screaming to that the animal. The question that I'm going to have next week <laughs> is, and no answer this, the question I will have that Gogo Manzini is going to basically give us the answer is, which one is better, masturbation or sleeping with a man or a partner that sleeps around, or rather masturbation or sleeping around? That one you will answer for us next week. But obviously, guys, we have come to the end of our show, which was very, very um, interesting and very educational for me. Um, I, I, I feel like there's a lot of questions that will come from this particular one. And uh, you can leave those questions down below, guys. Mm. And I'm sure, like, you know, in we uh, weeks to come, we'll be able to just record a video where we can actually just talk about this particular topic because I feel like almost everybody's having sex, guys. 16-year-olds are having sex, mm. you know? 
16 year olds. Mm. 14, 16, 14. These kids old. are already having sex with mm. old men and everything. And I think it's not only just kids, obviously. As I'm saying, like, it's almost like everyone is having I'm also having sex. I'm not even going to lie. So I think that is just, you know, a moment for us to be educated and then be able to know this stuff and obviously know how to best obviously also help ourselves and also just be aware of what is actually happening. Now you can definitely get uh Ugogomanzini from Instagram at uh Gogomanzini underscore mm. what it's is it? At I am Oh I am Gogomanzini. Gogo I'll have the banner here. Yes. Dr. Gogomanzini T V on I think YouTube. that one is more informational. Yes. The informative YouTube, yeah. The Doctor Coco Manzini TV, yeah. And then you will get all the information about yeah. certain things that we cannot talk about because obviously there's things I cannot talk about in this platform, yeah. and then there's things that I feel more comfortable talking about on my own channel. Yeah. So Doctor Coco Manzini TV, you go there, you won't go wrong. Zero seven two double four eight one four seven four. That's a WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, don't call me. Mm -hmm. Type, and then I will read. Mm. And then don't forget to go for consultations. I'm not saying come to me. It's your choice. Go there, consult with your life, attend cleansings and do things like that. Like I am expecting, I'm telling you now, especially Johannesburg, with a lot of people that are in Johannesburg or people that are always inquiring about coming to see me or this and this and this. 16 and 17, I'm coming to you guys. Mm -hmm. From Pumalanga. Mm -hmm. 16, 17, I'm coming to you. Do your bookings. Mm -hmm. Because I have a certain number of people yeah. that I can see. I cannot see a lot of people. Yeah. 16, 17, Johannesburg, it's going to be in the suburb city, mm -hmm. in the suburb area. But I will tell which, which river is it when they are now what booking. Mm -hmm. Because, oh, I mean, people are not working. People are suffering. People are losing jobs. People are not getting raises that they deserve. Mm -hmm. People are not getting the jobs that they actually studied for. Mm -hmm. People don't stay in relationships. Omonyumundu, in three months, it's an achievement in a relationship. You understand? Why is that going on? You don't know. <laughs> People hate you. I'm not saying you have shame. People hate <laughs> Some people are telling you three months is an achievement, which I have achieved. You three months, I lasted at least. Like you, I was in a long relationship exactly. with that guy. That How was long? Your three months. So why attend cleansing things or maybe a church? Baptism, what what? Yeah. Attend certain things. But now you can't get baptized every day. Leave that cheating matches. Use multi and lawyer that cheating matches, <laughs> and then that cheating matches, and then your life will be better. If you are dirty already, go for cleansing, protect yourself, and. Feed him with a love portion or feed her with a love portion, mm -hmm. you know. And also, Pella, remember, guys, 17 mm -hmm. is for business. So 17, we're not dealing with issues, Zabu, what, what. So in, in But obviously, because we're going to cleanse you and protect you, then you'll be clean because we remove everything. But 17, I want, I'm with big dogs. Business people. Business people, online business, live business, everything. Mm -hmm. Please come see. Come see me. I'm going to be here in your Johannesburg. Bring me champagne. Champopo. Well, anyway, thank you so, so much, Gogo Manzini, for joining us thank today. So um, I, this is really refreshing, you know, it's to hear pleasure. such um, information, especially coming from somebody that is a Sangoma that understands the spiritual world uh, uh, more than, like, just a normal person that, yeah. you know, obviously does not know about the spiritual world, right? Mm. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, guys, whatever advice you take, you'll take. Whatever you don't, you won't. But next week, we'll, we'll be talking about pornography and masturbation, how that affects you, how that affects your life, how that affects spiritually, what basically goes on. So I already cannot wait for that one. I cannot wait. And I'm sure that you guys will also be very excited. I am really sorry of the fact that obviously we were, we were not here for two weeks. But as you had, go go ahead to go and obviously do her rituals, Shiba Bum, okay? So... We 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 are back on track, okay. Anyway, thank you, Gogo Manzini, for joining us from Moami Nation. I love you guys. Stay blessed, and we will see you guys on next week Friday, okay. <laughs> Bye.